Welcome to this video on K means clustering. After completing this video, you will be able to explain the steps followed by the K means algorithm to cluster data points. Describe how the centroids are selected. And list the criteria when the algorithm stops. Can you create two clusters from the data points shown on the screen? You might have identified one cluster or group on the top left, and the other on the right bottom. As humans, we can visually group together points based on how close they are to each other. But how would a k-means algorithm do the same task? First of all, k-means will need your help. You have to specify how many clusters you want the k-means to make. In this example, you can tell the k-means to form two clusters. We can name these points as p1, p2 and so on. Then it will randomly choose two points. These are also called centroids. We name these centroids as C1 and C2. Then, it will select the data point P1. And calculate the distance between P1 and C1, and the distance between P1 and C2. Which centroid is the data point P1 closer to? The data point P1 is closer to centroid C1. Therefore, P1 will belong to the C1 group. We can mark P1 as red. Similarly, we can see that P9 is closer to C2. Therefore, it will belong to the C2 cluster or the green cluster. We can mark it as green. This process is repeated for all the points. And based on the proximity to centroids these points will belong to either the red group or the green group. You might see that some of the data points are in the wrong group. How can you fix that error? To correctly group, you will have to accurately place the centroids C1 and C2. K-means optimizes the location of C1 and C2 by placing them in the center of red points and green points respectively. This will get you two new centroids C1 new and C2 new. Then, the K-means will repeat the process of clustering again. It will select P1 and assign it to the red group if P1 is closer to C1 new. Else, if P1 is closer to C2 new, then it will assign to the green group. This process is repeated for all the points and they are assigned to one of the groups. We see that this point which was earlier in the red group shifted to the green group. The K means will calculate new centroids again and repeat the process. But how long should the process of recalculating centroids and reassigning to red and green clusters continue? The process will continue until the clusters remain unchanged or a fixed number of iterations are reached. Some fun facts. The K and K means refer to the number of clusters to be formed, and means refer to taking the mean or average, to find centroids of these clusters.